Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Let's do Europa League predictions. Something a bit different than usual. I did it last year as well, to be fair. Knockouts, so I'm doing the same thing this year. So you can join my league if you want. So superbrew.com, uh, tournaments, and then you click on the football. When it loads, yep, there we go. <laughs> About 10 years later. And it should be around here, Europa League. Then you sign up and then obviously you get into the prediction and then you can join a league. You just go on league. I mean, you go on here at pool, then join a friend's pool. Then you can type in this code, DROBNERD. Interesting code. It's very random. It just gives you random code and it's, it's this is nerd and it's okay. Or you can type in my name. It should come up or Davros League as well. That would come up as well. But the main code is this. So that's probably the easiest way to get in. And you can join my league if you want. Uh, we've got a few in Premier League 1 and Champions League 1. They're separate leagues. So like if you're in that one and you want to join this, you have to join this one separately. Anyway, um, let's actually predict Europa League now. I got a prediction league with my friends that I'm quite competitive with. We do Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup. So I take this, I take this predictions more seriously because I use the same predictions in the, in the videos as well as I use over there. But we're not doing Europa League. We're not doing Europa League yet until the semis in our league. So I can take this a lot less seriously because it's not part of our prediction league. So I can be a bit less competitive. But I'm still going to like try and predict what I think will happen. So anyway, um, Shakhtar v Benfica. Obviously there's 16 games, so let's get started. Shakhtar are pretty good at home in Europe, not really recently, but they, they're still pretty good at home in Europe and I think they will beat Benfica. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Shakhtar. Probably risky, to be fair, but I'm going to say a 2-0 win. Uh, Eintracht v Salzburg. This will be a good game, to be fair. This will be a good game. I'll go for 3-1 to Frankfurt. I reckon they'll have this one. I reckon at home they'll... Uh, the win. The win comfortably, but I think Sosa will get an away goal. Ludogorets v Inter Milan. Inter will win this. I think they'll be fine. 2-0 uh, with Inter Milan, I think. Yeah, comfortable win. Uh, club, maybe not comfortable to be fair, but I think they'll win. Keep a clean sheet. Club Brugge v Man United. Here we go. Um, I think, well, United should win, but you never know them, do you? They, they could easily lose this game. So with Arsenal to be fair, so you know, I'm not saying uh, we're any better. I'm gonna say United edge it. Risky, it's risky. We're gonna say United win 1-0. I just got a feeling that they'll get through this uh through this tie. Um so I think a clean sheet away getting 1-0 win, I think that's realistic. Cluj v Sevilla. Severe Severe I think, yeah. 3 1 to Sevilla, I reckon. Copenhagen v Celtic. They've been on a good run recently in the Europa League as well. Um, in the group stages, they did quite well. So did Wolves actually. The Wolves are in this, so we'll get to their prediction soon. Um, I'm going to say Celtic don't win this game. I'm going to say they get an away draw. They tend to do well away from home in the Europa, in the Europa League anyway, so I think they'll do quite well. But I'm going to I'm going to say they don't win. I'm going to say they get a two-two draw. That's a good result though, to be fair. Um, to away goals. Getafe v Ajax. <laughs> 2 1 Ajax. 2 1 Ajax. Risky again. I'm not, I'm not sure to be honest. I reckon they will go through. I think I think they can go quite far to be fair. They could get to maybe the quarters, the semis. I reckon they can. You never know. If they get it right, get things right, get the right draws, they could win the whole thing. But I think in this game, they'll. Uh, They'll just edge it, win 2-1. I'm not sure though, not entirely sure. Um, sporting v Istanbul, Basic Shahir. Uh, sporting. I'm going to say 3 0 Sporting. Might be optimistic there, I'm going to say Sporting uh, win that game comfortably. Rangers! Another team has done quite well uh, in the group stages. I'm going to say they win the first leg, but they will concede. I reckon they will concede. Braga are pretty good. They're pretty dangerous, so they they definitely the type of team to actually get a goal. So I reckon um, I might say two one. Rangers don't do things the easy way. They, they never do things the easy way. They always do things the hard way. That's what I noticed in the in the group stages anyway. So based on the group stages, I'm gonna say they narrowly win because that's what they tend to do. They, they narrowly win. Uh, two one to Rangers. Roma v Ghent. Uh, Roma will be fine. Four one. I'm going to go for 4-1 to Roma. I'm confident. This is one I'm most confident in so far. Um, Wolfsburg v Malmo. 
Wolfsburg, I think will be fine in this. Um, I think of a few score lines. I think of 2 0, 3 0, 3 1. 2 0. 2 0 to Wolfsburg, I reckon. Alkmaar v. Who's that again? <laughs> great video, David. Great content. You know, um, that's, is that. You saw you, you're, you're not seeing anything right now. You're you you're, you're not you're not you're, you're you're not you're not seeing anything. Linz. That's okay. I was thinking Limassol. It's Linz. I don't even remember. I watched the group stages quite often. I didn't. I don't remember Linz. Uh, Alkmaar. I'm gonna say that they'll win this. I was gonna say Alkmaar anyway. I should just, <laughs> I should just said uh, Alkmaar will win. Uh, three 0 to Alkmaar, I think. Yeah. You never, you didn't see anything. I, ne I didn't, I didn't research anything. All right, shut up. Arsenal. Um, look, I, I mentioned this in the vlog, in the uh, Newcastle vlog. When we've played them in the Champions League in the past, we got them like three or four times in group stages. We always won at the Emirates, and we always lost in Greece, except one game where we. One, at, one in Greece when we needed to go through and Drew scored a hat-trick. Aside from that, we always lost in Greece. Um, and it was always like 2-1 as well, 3-1. So judging by that, this could go very wrong. But we are draw FC. We're draw all this season, so I'm going to say we get a draw. You can, you can tell I'm hungry, by the way, because that looks edible. That looks like a biscuit. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> what am I even saying right now? Um, I'm going to say 2-2 two, two draw. 2-2 two, two draw, right? They'll score first. We'll take the lead. They'll equalise in stoppage time. Like, I'm calling it right now, okay? We're going to bottle in stoppage time. Apoel v Basel. Um, nice kits, by the way. Oh, this could be interesting. I'm going to say Apoel, actually. I'm yeah, going to take a risk. I'm going to say Apoel get a narrow 1-0 win. They can channel their Champions League form from like... What, what year was it when they faced Real Madrid and went out on penalties, I think it was. Bayer v Porto. Um, Bayer v Porto. It's a good tie, I can tell you that. I think I'd probably have Porto going through, just about. But in, in Germany though, this could be quite a good game. I'll go for something high scoring. Bayer to win 3-2. Yeah, Leverkusen to win 3-2. Wolves the Espanyol. I reckon Wolves could do... I mean, judging by their group stage form, they surprised me. They did quite well just by their results. They beat teams that I thought they wouldn't beat. So, I think they can beat Espanyol. It's not going to be easy, for sure, but like, I reckon they could go pretty far like look what Fulham did a few years ago look what um, Borough did that one year Wolves could go one of those runs maybe I'm just overthinking it maybe it's being like optimistic about them but I could see them going quite I can see them doing quite well I don't know what it is I can just see them doing quite well um, it depends on what draw they get though like if they get into Milan next round then you know that's <laughs> major trouble but they might not even get through here but I'm gonna say they get I'm gonna say they win this game all right, I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna say two nil. Yeah, I'm not confident, but I got a feeling. I got a feeling that Wolves will do well. So yeah, two nil Wolves, three to Bayer Leverkusen, one nil Apoel, two two between Olympiacos and Arsenal, three nil Alkmaar, two nil Wolves, two nil Wolfsburg, four one Roma, two one Rangers. Not many draws I picked. Uh, three nil Sporting, two one Ajax, two two between Copenhagen and Celtic, three one Sevilla, one nil Man United, two nil Inter Milan. 3-1 Frankfurt and 2-0 Shakhtar. This is your boy David off. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down on these nights lately. But I know that I got so much to give. Never forget, but I can learn to forgive. Yeah. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling